Hey Cancer, this is Moon Pie doing your love reading for the next 10 days. This will be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. Take what fits, leave the rest. If you want to book a personal reading, I'm running a special right now for the month of February. Um, go ahead and check that out. The link is below the video. All right, Cancer, let's take a look and see what your love and general messages are for the next 10 days. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Okay, wedding rings. Somebody's getting married, or there may be an option here. Uh, somebody wants union. Uh, there's a deep soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise. Okay, or you're going to a wedding <clears throat> where someone close to you is getting married. It could be you. It could be another person here. Let's take a look and see. Okay, wow. Lightning. That's a tower. So there's some kind of, I feel like a shocking type of energy coming in here maybe somebody that you've been connecting with uh proposes it's a sudden change i feel like it's definitely shocking news i feel like you're not going to be expecting this um if it's not marriage it's just somebody coming in saying they want to have this everlasting committed relationship with you cancer um so the tower card uh, mars energy aries or scorpio Let's take a look and see what else is going on here. There's definitely a transformation happening in the next 10 days for you. Okay, boat. Receiving what you need. Progression. Arriving. Moving on. Closure. So it feels like setting sail or taking off. Setting sail. Something is being put in motion here. Um, moving forward in your love life. Definitely. Somebody might have a boat or there might be traveling by a boat or overseas. Could be... Um, a ceremony on a yacht maybe there's a cruise you might meet somebody on a cruise where um, somebody comes in or you meet them by the water and somebody comes in and it's basically like this is cancer is the one I want to marry okay so we've got negative thinking still undecided and I feel like this is you cancer I kind of feel like you're in this position here where you're not so sure you know, um, maybe this is somebody that you were connecting with in the past or currently. Um, uh, it, it, the negative thinking kind of is like the Eight of Swords energy where it's kind of like um, self-sabotage. Um, I'm picking up like I. it's hard for me. Somebody saying it's hard for me to believe that this somebody wants this. But it feels like the struggle is over here for you. Okay victory recognition and applause so this feels like a very strong powerful energy that's going to be occurring for you in the next 10 days um, it's like a revelation you know with that tower card the lightning strikes this is kind of like major upheaval major change um, this has an effect somebody's having an epiphany here all right let's see let's get why is this negative thinking here what's going on What's causing you to be in this energy? Wow, the star, Aquarian energy. Maybe you're connecting with Aquarius. Um, it's kind of like, wow, there's healing here. And it's also a message for you, Cancer, um, to begin to heal that negative aspect of yourself where maybe you've had, some of you may have had some struggles in relationships in the past and it's hard to believe that this could actually be happening. Okay, um, this could be somebody famous uh, or someone in the public eye who brings this energy to you. And it's kind of like, really? Like, it can't be for me. They can't possibly really want to be with me. I feel like that energy is playing out here for you in your head. But Virgo, um, not Virgo, oh my goodness. I'm so used to saying Virgo, but maybe you're connecting with a Virgo. Um, I kind of feel like it's, it is happening here for you. This is going to be occurring here four of swords this is healing both of these are healing cards recovery and there's renewal so for some of you it's a renewal with someone okay or it's a renewed state in your mind it's actually like you you do get yourself in a position where you have your hope you get your hope back even though your negative thinking tends to derail you i feel like you get your hope back you've been doing a lot of healing um recovery you've been in a position of um some of you've been in solitude or you've just been retreating or getting your rest mental rest more so than anything after a heartbreak um, and it's when you stopped wanting 
to have something is when it's actually coming in. You're manifesting for yourself. I don't feel like you're manifesting somebody else or trying to manipulate or control or try to have somebody back in your life. I feel like you're just manifesting for yourself. Like instead of saying, um, putting out the energy where trying to get spirit or whomever to change this person's way of seeing things or whatever it's more like you manifesting for yourself and saying please I, um not please but like i am worthy and, and believing this in yourself and really getting out of this negative thinking manifesting for yourself that you are worthy of love and manifesting that for yourself brings that to you and i feel like a lot of you have been doing that and here it comes okay this still undecided what's going on here wow okay for some of you this could be a friendship or this person um and you uh it's about meeting it's about connecting with each other um this person you may meet somewhere um like i was saying and i was saying by water so we do have water here okay um it feels like undecided about meeting i feel like your energy is like you're not sure um, maybe there's a lack of trust um because it's coming in so shocking maybe it's just hard for you to trust again or trust a particular person but the struggle is over let's take a look here because i feel like there's a new beginning oh wow three of swords yeah the heartbreak is done this is over okay no more of this right no more pain right um pain from you know divorce or loss the depression comes to an end um this is just a i see you healing from that and this struggle is over and for a lot of you this is a new love connection coming in here Let's take a look and see what else victory recognition and applause so that's definitely six of wands energy where there's this is like good news and success let me see here okay yeah there's somebody here who's just not willing to let you go um and you also are determined i see to hold on to your rewards and your success at this time in your life you may be hesitant to change this love aspect of your life because perhaps in a lot of areas you've built some strong foundations and you're doing very well with that and i feel like you're kind of like okay that's why you're undecided to bring somebody either back in or to allow someone new to come in you want it okay you do i feel like you you, you, you there's somebody here that you um it's either i don't know if it's somebody that you already know somebody that you love or somebody new it, it the energy could be going out both ways here but let me just take a look they said to pull some cards from the romance angels so okay passion allow your heart and soul to sing with joy wow cancer um this is a very passionate type of connection here i feel like you want to be excited about this when it happens but you're just like very hesitant you know you've been you've been doing so much work healing your energy um recovering um there's an energy here of mo oh, i don't know if i do this will it open up some old wounds how do i know if i'm fully healed from this i feel like you're still in a process but your hope does get renewed um okay making the effort creating uh, i'm sorry great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take so i do feel like somebody here becomes very passionate about you and really shows you puts in the effort who is this person it's safe for you to love wow open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all you know um this is really interesting i feel like whoever this person is they definitely want to have that long-term security with you a long-term relationship this is no joke let me see if i can find out for some of you is this a past or is this new either way it's like a shocking type of energy okay we have the empress libra energy and the eight of swords again so hmm you're kind of conflicted in a lot of ways right because you're sitting there in that empress energy where you're creating you have new abundance you're trying to do good in your life but you still struggle right and that's what i was saying you're still on this path i'm sorry this path of healing here in your life okay oh you're seeking truth okay taurus energy as well they're not really telling me if this is someone from your past or somebody new it feels like it's a renewal a renewal of energy in yourself let me see 
Yeah, you're very hesitant. I, f I don't know who this is, and I'm just going to have to allow you to, to figure out for yourself if this is a past person, but whoever this is, I, it feels mostly like your energy is like, I need to find out if this person is really tr being truthful with me. Like, I need to, like, delay. I need to wait because I'm not sure, not 100% sure if I'm ready for this because it's so shocking the way it comes in, the way this person's energy shows up. It's like, boom, wow, really? Really? Like somebody's having an epiphany about you here. It's a big upheaval. Okay, so they're clarifying here. This is our first uh, court card. So it's a King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, so for some of you, this is, um, if you recognize that as a past person, yes. And for others, this is somebody new coming in or there's a renewal in the heart. Okay, the King of Cups, um, someone who's very supportive, tolerant, empathetic, keeps their emotions hidden, you know, doesn't wear them on their sleeve, um, but is very wise. And, and it, it could be a teacher or a professor or someone who uh, studies a lot about spiritual energy and things along things along that nature they vibrate out very um, emotional energy it's more like you could feel it from them um, in order to understand when you would understand in order to understand this person you have to vibe you have to feel the vibes it, they're not big on communication okay a lot of communication coming in from this person uh, Eight of Wands energy, news, this person, a lot of communication, a lot of talking, travel, let's see what else, okay, so Ten of Swords here, surrender, I feel like somebody's surrendering here to this connection, and it's very beautiful, it's very beautiful, let's take a look here, so the next 10 days, you're definitely getting some kind of proposal of some sort, okay but you may not be fully ready you're you're working on it you're definitely working on it and i feel like it just comes out of the blue and a lot of you are just may still be undecided about meeting up this person or taking steps forward because there's a fear of you know feeling that pain again or getting hurt now let's see what your what your charms are here okay wow what is this this looks like a gigantic snowflake to me. Um, okay, so something to do with snow. Somebody lives in a snowy area, very snowy. Um, it also feels like, yeah, it feels like um, ice. Maybe th maybe there's a, um, an air sign. I did say Aquarius. It could be an air sign. Um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Let me see. What else do you have here? Oh, you have a, oh, you have a frog. Very beautiful. Maybe somebody has frogs or it's one of those, I don't know what those frogs are called, um, but they're like always climbing trees and they're very slow and they stick to the tree. They have those um, big round finger pads. It's a, it could be a very sticky situation or some of you just, I, I don't know if you're looking at frogs or you have frogs somewhere around you or it's your favorite animal. Okay. And you also have octopus. Wow. Hmm. Very interesting. I feel like, okay, maybe you're eating octopus or that's somebody's favorite food. But it feels also like um, uh, something tropical, something to do with the tropics. Maybe you're taking a trip somewhere to the tropics. Um, and they just told me Tropic of Cancer. Um, something here, I feel like the energy with these with this octopus and, and this particular frog is that this person once you allow yourself to open up to them and receive I feel like this person is just going to have their tentacles all over you they're not going to let go like they're stuck to you and that's what I was feeling with the four of pentacles here a very like holding on very tight obsessive there's a very obsessive energy um a possessive kind of energy there might be some insecurity as well which you know whom of us here are just completely perfect, right? There might be a little bit of insecurity, but I don't know. It's something to do with like a very, it's not that I don't know. It's something to do here with like a very snowy area um, and then maybe escaping from that snowy area and going into a very warm tropical climate, um, traveling as well, or somebody's coming from there to a snowy area, which 
it could be either one. So yeah, I'm going to leave your message there, Cancer. I hope that that helped you a little bit and you gained some insight from that. Please do hit like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you all very soon. Take care.